The wire is used to carry data in form of electronic signals. The four generation computers were large, expensive and used a big amount of electricity. The ENIAC was a four generation computer. The second generation computer. The second generation computers developed between 1956 and 1964. They were small in size. The second generation computers used transistors instead of vacuum tubes because the transistors were smaller than the vacuum tubes. They were also faster, cheaper and used a less amount of electricity. The third generation computers. 1965 to 1975 was a period of the third generation computers. An integrated circuit is as small as a transistor but it can work as fast as thousands of them. The integrated circuit made this computer faster, cheaper and smaller than the second generation computer. They used a less amount of electricity and made few mistakes. The fourth generation computers. The computers developed since 1972 up to the present are called as the fourth generation computers. The fourth generation computers use microprocessors. A microprocessor consists of a small silicon chip where thousands of circuits are placed. The fourth generation computers are portable, smaller, faster and cheaper. They used a less amount of electricity and produced less heat. The fifth generation computer is the most com advanced computers of all. Scientists are now trying to develop the fifth generation computers that they can think on their own. This is called artificial intelligence. Robots work on this technology. I hope you enjoyed my video about the generation of computers.